Hi everyone, I hope you all. This is Coins Kid. Just going to dive into Bitcoin. Big up the Coins Kid crew, okay? Venture capitalist Tim Draper has said he, he calls for 250k, roughly estimate, by the end of this year to early next year. Now I'm going to drop a link to this article in for you, so you can take a le uh, read of this article. But he thinks it's going to be driven by women. Now, this is really bizarre because a lot of my uh, partner's friends are constantly messaging her right now, saying, "Is it a good time to buy Bitcoin? Can you ask Tom?" And I always say to her, "Look, I don't. You don't give him any financial advice, but." The charts are saying it's near the bottom, basically, of the correction. So, yeah, it, historically, this has been a good time to accumulate Bitcoin for the next ramp up. It doesn't mean that it can't dip lower, obviously. But given historical data, like I always tell you in the videos, it does look like it could be a bottom, you know, or there or thereabouts. So, you know, they sort of constantly asking us, should I buy? You know, and I always say to her, look, not financial advice, you know, just watch the channel, watch the videos and make your own interpretation from them. Okay, and that's that. So it's kind of weird that all of friends are messenger at the moment, more so than they have been. So is it kind of tying in? Who knows? But anyway, I'll, I'll drop a link to this article because Tim Draper thinks that, that the next leg up is going to be primarily driven by women, which is really bizarre, isn't it? But anyway, I'm going to jump into charts right now and take a look at what's going on, okay? So looking at Bitcoin on the five-day time frame, then this is what I think we're going through at the moment. I think we've got a wave impulse just there that's ended last year, uh, wave three, and there's confluence to that in the fact that VeChain, Chainlink, XRP, and certain coins have put in a, an ABC zigzag correction. Other coins like Ethereum, Nano have put in a, in, a, in a expanded flat correction as well, just like Bitcoin, where it actually made a higher high than the peak of wave three. Uh, and with that, they're starting to come down. Now, you know, there's absolutely zero guarantees here, but what I think we've, we've got missing of this cycle is this blow off top. We never had it here. Okay, a lot of people saying that this was a blow off top. In my opinion, it wasn't because certain altcoins like Litecoin, um, even XRP, they were lagging behind because they're still in a bull market, you know, and, and, and especially XRP has not lost that 17 cents support yet, which is. The, the, the support of a bull market for me for XRP even though you're coming down you're losing EMAs and things like that and it's a heinous horrible correction you are still actually in a, an impulsive move a larger one in a macro time frame uh, for me and you know I think that what we're looking at is this blow off top where we, we're going to be accompanied by a, a large ABC correction a multi-year bear market because I think that the, the previous cycle here this ended the four year cycles or whatever you want to call it they ended just there okay uh, in, in 2018 and since then we've been in this one impulsive move this two correction this three impulsive move this four correction and I think that we're missing this final fifth wave here of this impulsive move you know coming for Bitcoin now Obviously, you know, it, it doesn't even have to go to 250 or 260 or whatever, but I think that this is what we've got coming. Now, the fact that Bitcoin's actually done this gives me more sort of bias towards this fact that it's actually going to play out because you always come up from the bottom historically for Bitcoin whenever you read under the five-day Gaussian and you enter level of capitulation, which we pretty much have down here. Okay, we're just trying to find this low now, this bottom. It's all about finding this bottom and then we start to come back up the stairs. This is where you always come from, from an impulsive move. For example, impulsive move impulsive move and we're looking for an impulsive move so what's in front of us once we bottom out an impulsive move why wouldn't it be anyway you know there's absolutely zero guarantees so i think that what we've gone through this Elliott Wave theory you know we've got this big one push which is this we've got this two correction which is this we've got this free huge impulsive move which you can see clearly it's this and then we've got this wave four correction just there which is a heinous horrible you know nasty correction the complex corrections in, in this instance it, it's been an expanded flat correction in a bull market look at that you've got abc abc and a one two three four five wave structure down at the moment that's sort of nearing completion we're almost printing cycle bottoms on charts okay and in that 55 monthly time frame EMA as well which is always a target if you lose a 20 I've taught you that so the bottoms around here isn't it around about 24k 22k who knows but personally what I think we might do is we might hit a bottom a low in June and then we put in a high low in July and then we're gone scare but again I could be completely wrong obviously but it's something that I'm looking at at the moment and I will go through this with you when I've got more time but you know we're sort of tying up at the moment with this Elliott Wave theory and this corrective expanded flat as well and this is you can see this is a big big push it's a third wave which is just here so right now we've gone through this ABC correction and this instance an expanded flat correction we bottom them out it's not necessarily a bear market it feels horrible it feels like a bear market but it's not and from that Point, you've got this big big final impulsive move where at that point you're going to experience something like this a large drawn out ABC correction after this large bull market we've been in since 2018 because I think you know I think your cycles are broken basically uh, and just there uh, this in fact in my opinion from there 
all the way to there is a bull market okay and then i think that what you're going to get is from there that peak is a bear market a multi-year bear market okay one that bitcoin's never experienced not necessarily as deep but a more long and drawn out and prolonged bear market for crypto this is just something i'm looking at and it will be conclusive if we get this big blow off top right now and this big last impulsive move of this sort of elliott wave structure that we're looking at as well you know once this correction's over if it does do this then up here is where you want to exit crypto and at that point you do not want to be bag holding into the bear okay so that's basically what i think was going through at the minute and right now it is playing out like that so it is until it isn't now this can actually play out like this unless bitcoin loses this low so if this is a bear market this is another thing i'm trying to explain to you and i've been trying to explain that for the whole time then this is your wave one high just there in 2019 okay which is around about 14k if bitcoin comes below that which in traditional bear markets of bitcoin if this is your top you look at an 85 percent drawdown you're looking at around about a ten thousand dollar price tag for bitcoin if that happens then this is invalid okay do you understand that because you've lost the wave four is retraced deeper than the wave one high so elliott wave theory by rules of thumb you cannot have a wave four which retraces greater than the high of wave one which will mean that this was the top of the bull market and this was in fact some kind of you know short fifth wave which i don't think it was and right now you're coming back into the bear market and you've got some kind of abc correction within air within itself but we'll keep an eye on that but in a minute i'm giving more presence to the fact that i think we're looking at this impulsive move because it's the perfect setup and a lot of the charts are printing bottoms okay but anyway that's just my theory okay and nothing i say is financial advice i hope you enjoyed that little update stay healthy stay tuned take care everyone Bye bye